Sex appeal is the keynote of our civilization. Henry Bergson. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the lounge. Let's go. Hey, I, I do some this is a lounge. Culture and justice, you know you can trust that we holding it down. Well, you can bet we applying that pressure to come by the pound. Speaking the truth and the logic to do what makes us so profound. That's why we got the crown. Shit, this is a lounge. Culture and justice, you know you can trust that we holding it down. Well, you can bet we applying that pressure to come by the pound. We living better no matter the weather, we sticking around. Come see what we found. Yeah, this is the lounge. VSOP for the record, no better. Yeah, this for the wealth. Both of the people are equals, no better. To speak for the culture, our needs, and our health. Conscious it reign with dignity, giving the keys to victory and being a man. Lift up the culture, protect it from leeches and vultures, and speak for who need in their hands. Cause this is the lounge. Welcome back to the VSOP Lounge. I, I of course, am your host, the captain of the cool kids, host of the Grown Man Logic podcast, Dewan J. And I hope, I hope that all is well. Tonight is step four, step four of our She's a Dime series. We've talked about being social. We've talked about being healthy. We've talked about emotionally intelligent women. But tonight, tonight we have to talk about sex appeal. Now, I, I kind of hinted at this two weeks ago. I, I hinted at this two weeks ago when I was talking about being healthy. But we're talking about sex appeal. And while your physical stature is a huge part of sex appeal, it's not it. It's much deeper than that. Much, much deeper. But before we get into that, Let's talk about our drink of the evening brought to you in this beautiful 14.5 ounce highball glass available on shopgrownmanlogicpod.com, shopgrownmanlogicpod.com. Our drink of the evening, Corpse Reviver number two. Corpse Reviver number two is our drink of the evening. Now, as I mentioned, sex appeal is about way more than the physical. And when we take it to the streets later in the episode, you're going to see that I'm not alone in this thinking. This is one of those things where all shapes and sizes can apply. This is not one of those things where... You know, you, you have to fit into this particular box or that particular box in order to apply. All shapes and sizes apply when it comes to sex appeal. Why? Because it is much more than just being physical. And this is often the argument that I hear back when I tell people that they need to get in the gym. When I tell people that you need to worry about your physical health, um, the, despite the statistics telling you that the healthier you look, the more attractive you are to people. Despite the science saying that men choose women that are fit, toned, muscular, healthy looking, a low waist to hip ratio. Despite the science telling us all of these things, I hear arguments. I'm this size. I get women. I'm this size, I get men. This, I'm this size. I can do all of these things that a fit person can do. Okay, true, but here's why. And initially I wasn't gonna do this, but it's necessary. I wasn't gonna put this out there because I'm actually giving people ammunition to argue against me. Which is good. The Grown Man Logic platform is based off of Critical thinking, critical thinking and accountability. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Uh, or if my opinion has to evolve, then it has to evolve. But this is a necessary step and a necessary topic inside of the She's a Dime series. So let's get into it. When it comes to 
sex appeal. Women, you need to have what I call the C4 package. The C4 package, calm, caring, clean, and creative. Calm, caring, clean, and creative. What does that mean? An easy disposition. You're chill. One of the cliches or, you know, faddish statements that are going around today that you guys are saying is, uh, you know the vibes. Vibrations. Men want calm vibrations because it lets us know that you, you're operating under an even temperament and that you're emotionally intelligent. Calm. Caring, obviously. Um, caring, not caring, caring, uh, lends itself to you walking in your femininity, walking in your feminine energy. Um, it's science, it's nature for women to be nurturing to be understanding, to be the softer side of life, if I'm being quite honest. And this is not a bad thing. So don't take it as an insult. You shouldn't take this as an insult. Clean, cleanliness is next to godliness. We cannot stress this enough. This cannot be uh, overstated. How many times have you've been scrolling through Instagram and you've seen um, a woman with an ideal body type, a woman who you would hashtag goals, a woman that, you, oh, I wish, I wonder what her workout routine is. I wonder what her diet is, but then her mirror is dirty and her room is dirty and it's full of clutter. Men don't find this attractive. And to the likes, to the hearts, to the DMs that you get women as a result of these pictures, just know that this is purely about sex. There's no good intentions that come from the attention that you get from these photos, especially cluttered rooms, bathroom mirrors being dirty, one leg up on the bathroom sink, room mirror being dirty and on the floor. <laughs> Your mirror's on the floor. Get, get some mounts, get some mounts for that thing. What are we talking about here? All of these things subconsciously tell men that you're not ready for a relationship. Cleanliness. And creative. The Godfather used to preach. Feminine, feminine, beautiful, and inspirational. Uh, inspiration is the parent of creativity. So when we're talking about sex appeal, the women that they can draw, the women that can paint, the women that can create, the women that can create, there's nothing sexier than a creative woman. Absolutely nothing. That's why content creators get so much attention. They thrive. The vloggers, the, the bloggers, the content, the video content creators. They know how to package themselves in such a way to become undeniable to men, to become irresistible. So if that's the case, then we definitely need to make sure that that's in there. Our C4 package, our calm, caring, cleanly, cleanliness and creativeness. If, if we're going to be completely honest about it, right, it, it's, more, it's more than looks. It's a swagger that goes along with these things. So once you've mastered your C4 package, you automatically begin to assume a certain type of swagger, a certain type of mood, certain type of uh, habits come along with these things. Women, you want to drive a man wild? Here are seven things that, that men virtually uh, find irresistible. And again, hopefully this is illustrating that you don't necessarily have to fit into a certain body type or a certain body category in order to be able to practice these things. And... 
by the time you get to where you need to be physically, you would have mastered the seduction game. You would have mastered the art of attracting attention to yourself, the right kind of attention. It's easy. It's easy to jump on social media twerking. It's easy to jump on social media half naked. It's easy to jump on uh, social media and show the imprint of, you know, your, your lower region. Summer dress season. Teasing the foot fetish, guys. You know, it's easy. It's easy to garner that kind of attention. But true sex appeal. Sex appeal leads to a ring. Why? Because you begin to raise the appetite for yourself and make a man virtually insatiable. Dancing, dancing is one of them. Now, when I say dancing, I'm not talking about, you know, twerking. Although, sure, that's the cheap way out. But you're not going to get the attention that you want. You're only going to get the sexual attention. Why? Because the man's thinking about that thing, bouncing on this thing. And then what comes out of that? It's the wrong kind of attention. There's no long-term intentions involved. Glasses, reading glasses. Reading glasses on women, something, something to be said about that. Social media restraint. It's easy to, to jump on there and post your life. But what's going to get you the ring is showing that restraint. Social media restraint. Everything is not for the gram. Everything is not for Twitter. It's not for TikTok. It's not for Snapchat. The fact that you can be present in the moment and allow you and that person, you and that man to just share that moment. It doesn't have to go on social media. I I personally can subscribe to this and attest that it, this is this is 100% the way. Everything is not for social media. So you have to sh determine what it is. Like your big moments, sure. Post them. If you own a business, sure. Market. If you own a brand, sure. Market. But everything in your private life does not need to go on social media. Save some for our imagination. Save some for just us. For when we're cuddling or laying in the bed, pillow talking, laying on the couch. We can reminisce. Hey, you remember that? I do remember that. And it's something for just you. It's special. In today's society, nothing is sacred anymore because everybody knows about it as soon as it happens. There's no, oh, you should have been there. Oh, in case you missed, there's none of that. Because if you didn't miss it, I'm going to post it so it's just like you were there. Which then feeds another angle of uh, why society's so screwed up. Because if you're going to post it like I was there, why do I need to go? Natural looking women. Sexy. Mwah. Shout out to the natural girls out there. The natural looking, the, the, you know what? They're baseball caps. Baseball caps, you know, like you're just running to the store. You got a pair of slides on with your toes out, some sweatpants on. You got a baseball cap on. Look at you go. Long live patch day. Your music selection says a lot about you and can be used as a part of your sex appeal package. Flirting, flirting goes a long way, a tilt and a gaze, air kisses with the wink, lip biting, winks, whispers. It's more than just physical. It's more than just physical. Now we're gonna have to get into the physical. But before we get into the physical, let's hear from the streets. A lot of times I catch the flack saying, Dewan, this is just you and you think this way and you can't use that. Okay, fair enough. 
Don't take it from me. Here's this week's edition of Street Logic. Her confidence in who she is. Um, her confidence. Her is confidence. Her independence. The way she carries herself. The way she carries herself. She's not out here exposing herself to be objectified. The ability to appreciate and be appreciated. Her emotional intelligence. Her mindset. Her ability to listen to understand and not just to respond. Her views of having um, serenity. Her style. Discipline on her body, fitness, and health. Is her willing to be submissive. I, her ability to leave a memory implanted on you. Whether it be the way she smells, the way she walks, the way she spoke to you, the way she treated you with respect. But don't listen to me, because I don't know shit. Welcome back inside the lounge. What'd you think? What'd you think about the words from the streets? Are we all wrong? I don't think so. But let's 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 examine what sex appeal looks like. Let's examine what gets your foot in the door prior to us even understanding if you have sex appeal or not. A beautiful smile. Nice teeth. Ladies, take care of your teeth. Your teeth say a lot about you. Um, if you, <laughs> you take care of your teeth, we know that you know, you're taking care of everything else. It speaks to that cleanliness that I mentioned earlier in the episode. Uh, low waist to hip ratio, again, being fit, hit the gym, hit the gym is necessary. Healthy looking hair, uh, unique fashion, um, being you, right? Not just following the trends. You have to be able to stand out. One of the things that I learned during, uh, my professional wrestling career is that you, you have to stand out. A wrestling move is a wrestling move. A body slam is a body slam. A power bomb is a power bomb. But how do you do it? What makes you different? What makes people want to see that particular thing from you? So unique fashion. We have to get in there. We have to get creative. Just like I was talking about earlier. Are you starting to see how all of these things are relative? Confidence. Confidence gets you in the door. Now, we have to be careful. There's a... Fine line between confidence and arrogance. Confidence is waking up every day on a 10. On point, on fleek, on whatever you want to call it. And arrogance is falsely projecting that for the rest of the world to believe it. We see through that. Men see through that. We know... Uh, what's the old song? I'm conceited. I got a reason. No, we see right through it. There's absolutely no reason to be conceited or arrogant, but be confident. Wake up every day knowing that you're the shit. Do it. And that shows through as well. According to Oprah. Actually, actually, this wasn't this is an article written on Oprah's website. Um, there are five elements of sex appeal. Smell, voice, facial symmetry, financial stability for men, and kissing. Um, the smell. Humans can distinguish 10,000 different scents. And what's called the MHC, the major histocompatibility complexes are triggered. Which is why uh, you see crazy stuff on TikTok now, uh, like the vabbing trend. Um, while I think that's absolutely disgusting, there is something to be said for that. Because, you know, we wear our colognes and we wear our perfumes and these scents cover up our natural attractive pheromones. Now, I'm not saying stop wearing it because the perfume, perfume gets you in the room. And I'm also not saying go do this vabbing trend or whatever, but when possible, 
go as light as possible on the, the fragrances because your natural scent attracts way more than your perfume. Your voice, ladies, higher pitched voices attract more men. Deep voice ladies, don't blame me. I just report the stats. I report the stats and package them, right? Uh, because the higher pitched voice indicates that there's more estrogen present inside of that, that body, meaning that that person tends to be more feminine. Facial symmetry, we don't have to explain. That's one of the things that we can't help, but we can't really help it. But And I guess that's where the makeup and the contouring and the, the uh, whatever, all that stuff that you guys use, I guess that's where this comes into play. Playing with facial symmetry. Financial stability for men. I tackled this inside of the Respect series. If you have not heard the Respect series, ladies, and you're, you've gotten this far in this video, by all means, go back and check out the Respect series where I, I gave men equally the amount of shit that I'm giving you. Financial stability. Men, you know what time it is. And kissing. 66% of people dump people if they have a bad first kiss. It's crazy. I didn't believe the stat when I read it, but it's a stat. 66% of people dump people if they have a bad first kiss. See, I told you, this thing is way deeper than just physicality. It really is. It's your smell. It's your swagger. It's your confidence level it's your fashion your music selection the way that you flirt so being healthy gets you the attention having sex appeal gets you in the room and sex appeal is like, like i said it's deeper but but maybe i'm wrong did i miss something you're more than welcome more than welcome Comment down below if you're catching this on YouTube. If you're catching this on iHeartRadio or Spotify, you can call the lounge. 805-738-2766. 805-738-2766. You can email me. Talk to gml at gmail.com. Talk to gml at gmail.com. Um, you can catch, catch me on Instagram. DM me. Listen, I'm, I'm open to discuss these things. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you feel like I speak in too many absolutes. All possible. But I'm gonna leave, you know, I'm gonna leave this right here. And finally, next week we're gonna talk about ambition and family orientation. This has been your episode of the VSOP Lounge. We'll see you next week. Cheers.